Yo guys, what's up, Shadow here, and welcome back to another episode of Death Stranding! Right, so, today we will meet Hartman in his lab, and hopefully he can tell us a few things about what's happening and what's going on with Mama's corpse and all of that, you know? So, uh, I guess, um, let's go in into the cozy, warm lab. Apparently. Okay, so we can take on orders. Oh, bot delivered orders. Cool. Let's do those first. Few heavily damaged things to the roboticist. As it goes. Now we cannot take on orders. Okay, so that was just for. Uh, oh well. Delivery request to cargo. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation. Uh huh. Excellent. Two and a half stars. Okay. Request to join UCA. Registered. Awaiting Cupid connection. He's not even greeting us or anything? Okay. That's it. Lab connected. Excellent. Hotman's lab. Thermal pad. Oh. That probably has something to do with snow. Please proceed and cold. To the facility with a cadaver. Good work. I guess. Oh. Ah. Hmm. That almost looks like an early humanoid skull, like a Homo sapiens. Is this like the evolution of man kind of thing? Please proceed into the facility. Oh, there's also down. like, like stones and things. Okay. I mean, he has a comfy-looking little gallery here. <laughs> Open the door. Until the resuscitation? What? What is that timer down there? Resuscitation means um, bringing somebody back to life with like CPR, right? No? What the hell have I stumbled into and what is going on with that timer? Is he dead? The music is like the, this typical, stereotypical, like, funeral music, isn't it? Yeah, totally. I don't know what this is called, that, that music, the title, but... Is he putting himself, like, into a, a, a um... Like a coma or something, or like a, a, a pseudo-death state? What you think? Ah, uh, that timer is really stressing me out. Hartman. Cardiac arrest, yeah. Administering shock. Stand clear. It said stand clear. Oh, okay. Okay. That was weird. Hello, Hartman. Is that why you're... Well, that's probably why his name is that. Okay, cool hourglass. You certainly caught me with my pants down. Glad you could make it, Sam. Nope. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you. But I am what I am. Ah, please, lay her down there. 
The padded freaking floor makes a lot more sense now if he can die, you know, all the Still time. Sign of them. <laughs> you know, your heart stops beating. It stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach and then return. 60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day. I just wanted to do the math there, but thank you. 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. This is how I live. This is my life. So, while you've traveled to and from the seam an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. 218,549. <laughs> cool. You're a weirdo, but you're cool. I see myself in that crater. My wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. Yeah, the it's very symbolic. It myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see heart whence heart shape heart? <laughs> no, you really should. It doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea. That the beach is real, and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest. Three minutes at a time. And search for them. Day after day after day. Oh, so you could say goodbye? Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying. Spending eternity alone. Which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? <laughs> would see us reunited. Sorry. Then, yes. Uh. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Nope, still not. <laughs> a body that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. The Maybe she kind of is. An impeccable corpse. What's wrong? Where's the other thing we were supposed to bring? Uh. Oh, found it. Oh, are you blind? Behold. No. Wait, dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. Hmm. And this was Mama's? Yes. Apparently so, yeah. A body that doesn't necrotize and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Dude. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others. As if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. Even if my every visit raises new questions. I'll have my answers one day. One day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. Yeah, they're There's screwing a, a bit with the time here, but that's okay. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. 
Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Normally, the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor, a place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret, uh, resentment, a, uh, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach, a collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. Yes, yes. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? Ensure you are in a stable position. I don't know. But evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Oh, before <laughs> I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Oh boy. Could you just relax until I come back? Time stops on the beach, but not in the scene. Rest assured, it'll only feel like three minutes to you. We'll continue this shortly. Five, four, three, two, one. This is so fucked up. Okay, move camera. So what now? Now I have three minutes to do something? Okay, I can zoom in and zoom out apparently. So yeah, this is his like weird cool looking hourglass. Lovely. Mama's remains. Am I supposed to find like a lot of different things? BT model, artist's impression. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ah. Oh, that's cute. I'm not quite sure what we're really supposed to do here. I mean, we're just looking at things, I suppose. More pictures. Cryptobiot discovered immediately after the stranding. Yeah. There's another picture. Chiral crystal, immediate post DS period. BT apparition, artist imp impression. Yeah. And another illustration impression kind of thing. More models. Is the game basically kind of like forcing you to... Oh, look! Another one of these cool figurines. To, to like learn things. Well, I'm not leaving you learning much, but you know, it's just interesting. It's kind of like a, a weird little mini game inside this game. It's, it's really strange. Guardian of life. It's crazy how many things you can see here. Oh, there's also a whale skeleton. He has a lot of different things now, hasn't he? There's a box. I think it's solid snake in there. <laughs> it's like a trophy back there, but apparently nothing important. There's a picture back there, but I... Ah, that's his daughter, I think. Ah. Ah, poor fella. Alright. Another picture. Oh, there's another one there. Can I... 
Or is that not an important one? You're back! Now look. Visit 218,550. He's definitely determined. Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? I may be used to the 21 minute cycle, but for a first time face to face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Defecation, ablution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. <laughs> well, Sleep yes. is the tricky one. And yeah. Intercourse, I suppose. Verbal, uh... physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Listen to music. Watch films. You know, I keep busy. Oh yeah, look. I he has a, a collection. collection of music, uh, television shows, some very interesting short films and stories. Everything consumable within a 21 minute window. <laughs> From before the death stranding, of course. <laughs> That's kind of fun. <laughs> but honestly, the 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> What's up with these freaking I've God damn it. your circumstances. I lost my family in an accident too. Also it was kinda like a fourth was wall break, wasn't it? Having heart surgery out of town in the city. When it was clear that I was going to pull through. My wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void outs. The city Oof. and the hospital were spared the worst. But the shockwave knocked out the power. And my life support. I woke up on the beach. <laughs> That's creepy. The people who died in the two void outs were there. What happened? What's going on? Do they even talk? Apparently not. I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey, it's me! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave without me! No! Don't go! Please! Don't go! The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart. 
but it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny, though. Even when my heart stops, the pain <laughs> lingers. Um, you have any family photographs, Sam? Pity. Yeah, the time is all screwed up. You mind telling yeah. me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's strata tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning, one that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Amelie proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period. <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. Yes. The assumption being that the last ones lived here and here alone. You see, hiding in the Earth, then, are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. <laughs> Some time later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. The whole incident defied explanation. You think Higgs is to blame? I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot is still a Knot. Sam? I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the deaths. Yeah, I uh, I kind of expected that to happen, and that's why there's padded floor. Exactly because of that. <laughs> uh, great. Yeah, well, just Don't leave him there. The air mat door absorbs the impact. Thanks, AI? Guardian? Thingy? I'm pretty sure that's not important, but it, it, it's a nice gesture that he does it, you know what I mean? <laughs> this game has such a weird sense of humor, I love it. <laughs> and there's another 20. <laughs> That's so stupid, I love it. Well, that was a lot of information. Sam, you heard it. You can grab the order at a delivery terminal. Um, also, I find it very interesting that that whole conversation pretty much took 21 minutes, I think. About. I've been recording now for 24 minutes. So, technically, they could have done the whole 21-minute cycle in one, but I Our think... ultimate objective yeah. in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the TAR. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the chiral network. 
Now, we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. Now, that's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edgenot City. And that means connecting this region first. I think it's more for dramatic the reasons, you know, they did it. The latter oh. holding something for the Evil Devil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. Wow, that's a handful. Okay. So, um... We have some bot orders here to the roboticist. To the doctor and Mount Knot City. That's... Yeah, we're just gonna send that. Whatever. It's fine. Whoa, okay. I just wanted to say, why was there a sequence for that now? Because it kind of looked different, I suppose. Okay. Never mind. So, that's dealt with. And then we have technically these two standard orders, but we won't really need them now. So... The geologist and the uh, oh god another antimatter bomb oh no ah uh, is that really okay we'll we'll do this one first anti chiralium medication for the geologist a geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events he's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. No doubt the result of excessive exposure to chirelium during the dig. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will his health improve. So we need you to bring him some chirelium scrubbing agents. Administering shock. Stand clear. And Hartman is back to life. The hey there. The team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period, the time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving small mammals to inherit the Earth. It's the most recent of the Big Five, and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. In any event, our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil uh, beach. Oh. If that is indeed what it is. Then he has made a tremendous discovery. Therefore, Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. I would already be on my way if you two wouldn't talk so much. Thermal pad. Indispensable gear for cold weather operations. Especially useful when traversing snow-capped mountains. Okay, so hold on, hold on. I couldn't read the whole thing. Um... Hold on, let me replay breathing. There we go. Thermal pad. Yeah. Gear. A device attached to your shoulder or hip will activate automatically in snowy conditions in order to keep the wear warm. Wear thermal pads will reduce the degree which snow conditions are in stamina and will increase the amount of stamina restored by drinking from the canteen. They also enable the wearer to rest in snow without freezing. Onboard batteries will also contribute to overall battery capacity. The more on units used, the greater effect is. Well, that is interesting. I think we'll um, we'll take one of those with us at least. Maybe even two. Like, you know, one to the hip each. Something like that. How heavy are these? Or how do they even look? Let me see. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. Back, 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 back. And then attach the suit. Oh, they look kind of cute. There we go. We still are okay. We have our ladder with us. We have an anti-BT handgun just in case we need it. Um, I think we're, we're very well equipped for this next journey. Well. We also have 
one set of boots with us to re as a replacement, that's fine. All right, the geologists, let's see. So this is basically from the roboticist over these mountain peaks, but we're going for from Hartman. So it looks like we can maybe traverse up here and then along this like valley looking thing. That's probably let, let's let's make a a route. So we have this to here, to here, to here, to here, and then probably to the geologist. Something like that. Sounds good, right? Okay. Keep on keeping on. Yeah. So the first one lies in this general direction. Sam. So Hartman told you all about the lake. How the attack that created it changed his life forever. Not only did he lose his family, he very nearly lost himself. For 21 minutes, he was in a state of cardiopulmonary arrest. Under normal circumstances, he would have died. Therapeutic hypothermia saved his life. But the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him. Perhaps due to the shock, his Doom's abilities seemed to have increased. And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. Well, makes sense to me. My apologies, Sam. All this way to visit me. I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death and extinction. It should come as no surprise that VTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab. Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCord. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, okay, so good thing we brought an anti-BT handgun and some grenades, I suppose, because apparently... Oh, look at these warming um, battery things. They look really cozy and warm, actually. You know, the glow, that orange glow. I like it. Right. So apparently we're going up this thing here. Right? That's correct. Yeah. Pretty much. Very interesting. Okay, now we're out of... Uh... Ah, yes. Here we go. BTs are just around the corner. Oh, this is... Sneaking in snow is super annoying. I can tell you that much. Shall we? Shall we just like equip um, the X grenades? I think I will just equip them just in case. Okay, right now actually the scanner is really slow, so we'll we'll keep it moving until they get closer. But yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. There's like. Ah. Uh, yeah, there's ruins here, I see. That's why there's PTs. They're like everywhere around me. Yeah, I'm trying not to get caught by them. <laughs> get away! Oi, why didn't that work? Okay. Jesus, they're everywhere here. Too far from cargo bridge. Oh, I left some boots somewhere. Is that what we did? Unfortunate, but okay. <laughs> Sam is expressing exactly what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> Yeah, they're like everywhere. They're so close. I don't like it. We're like passing between two of them at the moment. Let's hold breath. Or at least try it. Okay, okay, okay. Better, better. God, you can hear them. 
Oh, in front of us again? Come on. Ah, oh, Jesus. Come on. Come on, play. No, I'd rather not, actually. If I'm honest. If I can choose, I will say no to BTs today. I don't want to get dragged through this mess here. These PTs make a lot more noise. Or is that just me? Maybe I'm imagining it, but they... One of them almost made like a predator noise before. I don't know if you heard that, but to me it sounded like a predator noise. I'm gonna snack that crystal real quick. Excellent. Whew, okay. That is done, but now we're in a whiteout. But good thing we got our... Um, our uh, heating packs with us. So now we just follow that marker. Essentially. Well, if it grows red, then we know that there's some danger there, so we have to be careful. But um, that's pretty much the way we're taking. Okay. I mean, good thing we packed these uh, heating units, right? Otherwise, that would have been uh, quite awkward, I think. Right. Oh, now we make a sharp left. Up there. Let me just try and get over these. Yeah. You know what? I might just pick up this, this lost cargo here. Might as well, right? There we go! Here is the geologist! That was very straightforward, actually. Woo! That was a trip! Alright, let's make this delivery then. All of the stuff for you, my man. you doom sufferers see that end of day stuff i put the nightmares down to fatigue a uh, possibility of chiral contamination never even occurred to me uh, it's just lucky we caught it before the suicidal stage that indeed not an option my research is nowhere near complete it's not just my life you're saving here it's my life's work i started to wonder if i'd ever see these meds I guess you really are good at what you do, huh? Of course. Thank you. All right, here we go. Meds delivered. Two stars. Oh, yes. Right then. <laughs> if you'd do the honors. Oh, of course, mate. Never mind. I'll do it. All right, that's this one connected. Do we get anything? Climbing Anchor level 2. Oh, alright. And an interview with him. Okay. Excellent. And just like that, I'm part of the UCA. With access to a treasure trove of historical research materials. Studying this fossil beach should be a good deal easier now. 
Assuming I can prove once and for all that that's what it is. Honestly, though, I'm just excited I can finally share these findings with everyone. Can you believe I found chiral deposits in strata dating back 65 and a half million years? Which Evidence would suggest it happened before. Death stranding. Yeah. Chiral matter has existed on Earth since long before the dawn of man. This stratum is proof of that. Look at this, Sam. Do you see that black fissure there? We believe this is the source of the Chirelian readings. In the distant past, earthquakes caused frictional melting along fault lines, producing layers of what is known as pseudotachylite. We call these layers fossil earthquakes. Extending the principle, our fissure here is what one might term a fossil beach. The presence of Corellium in this of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. It strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. And not mm. just then. The chiral network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches were discovered in strata corresponding to other extinction events too. That would seem to indicate the Big Five and all other major extinctions were accompanied by the appearance of beaches. In expanding the chiral network, you've helped us glimpse a pattern in these scattered points of data. You furthered our individual research projects and ensured that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost and solve every mystery that remains. But this that would be is nice. only the beginning. See this through, Sam, and there's no telling what we might learn. Excellent. Cool. So, that is done. Very cool. Um, I think... We'll probably we'll have to check if we have a a job that goes from here to the next guy. If not, we'll just we'll route back, but we'll go the other way, like this way. Apparently, there's people who have take, taken this way too, so we'll take this way back, Hartman's lab, and then I think the the next one is like down here somewhere, I believe. So, which means we would avoid this snowy um, field of death here for the most part. I think. We could maybe walk around it this way and then go down here. But I guess we'll we'll check this next time. So, uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and take care.